Hey guys, I just wanted to do a review on the Busby Hawk that I just got. Um, I know I'm doing this. I'm going to be posting an unboxing for this and the Hunter, which I will also be doing a review for later. But I'll be posting the unboxing a little late because my iPod's acting up and it's taking away all my storage. So I don't really have space to put the thing together because that wastes a lot of space. Yeah, I just wanted to cover all the details here. Um, that's this little compartment for four darts and shells. It has a clip. You press down this button, and the clip comes out pretty easily. It has a sticker. I don't, the sticker doesn't really bother me. It's just there. And, yeah, um, it's pretty stable. Um, bolt action. So, and it shoots. I'm going to load the clip up, and then I'll show you guys the firing test. Hey guys, so, um, this is just going to be the firing test for the Hawk. Um, the first two are going to be, the first two are going to be straight, and then the last two are going to be tilted. So, straight. Sometimes it goes further than that. Sometimes it jams like this, but it's easy, all you have to do is take it out and toss it. Yeah, like basically the same exact spot. Yeah, this gun is very consistent with its range. And then tilted. Wow, that went really far. That's one of the farthest it's ever gone. I wouldn't go that far. Well, it's one of them. It's not the farthest. It's gone farther, but... So, yeah, um... I'll okay. stand here where he was standing. Right here. And he'll go over just to demonstrate, like, how far it is. Those are the, um, level shots. You can kind of guess for yourself. Oh, yeah, just... This looks like, I don't know. I'll kind of look back later, but... Yeah, that's pretty much how far it goes. Yeah. Okay, so now that we've done all that, um, let's Thirty-four footsteps, and each one is about a little more than a foot, I would get, say. So now I'm just gonna go inside and do the final view. Okay, guys. So for the final view of the hawk appearance, I give it a nine because just the colors, I don't really like them. I mean, I don't really think it makes that much of a difference, but I mean, it just kind of looks goofy. Um, so I give appearance a nine, durability an eight, because it seems kind of flimsy. Not flimsy, but not very durable, which isn't really what Busby is trying to do. Um, I'm just going to add this, I'm not sure if it exists, but realistic. Um, it's definitely a 10, that's what Busby does. Um, so, also, range, I give it a 9, 9.5, because it shoots very far, especially for a Busby gun. Um, and... I think that's it. Overall review, I would definitely give it a 10. Go buy this gun. Um, I think it's just very neat, so that's the end of the review. Thanks for watching.